cow's milk has been farmed for over 8,000 years, but it wasn't until the beginning of the 19th century that milk technology began to progress. With an increasing demand on the farms existing throughout cities, plagued by disease and unbearable odours, it became clear the whole milk production process would need to be developed to satisfy the changing culture. It was the dawn of the Industrial Revolution and the advancing rail networks that started to approach these challenges, allowing the dairy process to be rurally located and milk transported by requirement left a final hurdle of overcoming the preservation and storage of milk, which saw the birth of pasteurization and bottle packaging. The recent years have seen many advancements in milk technology and logistical streamlining. Want to know more? Good. Now join us on our journey as we take you from cow to consumer. Our milk transport story begins at Bibby's Milk Collection Depot in Cumbria. We, we collect around about 600 farms. This depot here, this is our, this is our Cumbria field, so every, every pin is a farm. But we collect and we also deliver 200 litres of milk to dairies uh, across, across the UK. Every farm they go to, they take a sample of milk, for instance, and that sample of milk is really important because the farmer gets paid on, on volume and the quality of the milk. I'm Sue McClellan, uh, farm collection driver. First things first, we, you know, we come in first thing in the morning, go into the driver's restroom, pick up our uh, file uh, with what we're picking up in the day, get our sample boxes ready, and then we set off to the farm. Once we get there, we agitate the vat, connect the hose, set the wagon off, wait until it's finished. Obviously get out, take the pipe off and go to the next farm. Once the wagon's loaded, we come back to the dairy, go onto the intake, we unload there. It takes around about half an hour. Our routes, they stay the same on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, unless you know the volumes fluctuate and then Jim or Albert will, will sort the roots out. Obviously milk volumes differ you know, very rapidly. Farmers can alter their volumes the same, so we've got to keep our computer date with the up-to-date latest. We do that once a week, keep the latest up-to-date, and we just work off them figures for the following week. That's our total main thing, is getting the targets. Milked, collected, transported. On average, each dairy cow in Britain produces 6,885 litres each year. Once the milk has been processed and bottled, it needs to get to store. Our story continues at the DHL Logistics Depot in Harlow. A typical day at Harlow for our milk would be four trunks would be delivered in over the course of the day. Uh, we'd unload them, um, check the temperatures of the vehicle, make sure the milk's in temperature, um, wheel it into bay two, line it up in obviously size, two litre, one litre quantities. The guys would then um, spend the rest of the day picking the milk into the tets. Um, once it's picked, it's marked up for what store it's going to with a, a sliver of cardboard and it'll have what's member number and how many tets it consists of. We then wheel it round into the next bay ready for it to be outloaded in the evening by our night shift guys who load away our store vehicles. Basically we run at least 40 routes out of here a day uh, to all different stores all over the southeast. We'll put the drivers names by their route so that everyone knows what they're doing. Uh, when they come back tonight, guys will have their paperwork so they know where they're going in the morning and, um, and away they'll go. Delivered, sorted, outloaded. DHL travel approximately 3.9 million kilometres across the UK each year for milk transportation. Our story continues to a cost-cutter local convenience store in Sheerness. I arrived at work about 4.30, ready to leave the depot about 5.00. Um, you go to the, the transport office, uh, you pick up your paperwork, including the manifest, sort through your paperwork, make sure it's all there, check your lorry over, and then get on your way, really. On the left-hand side, you have the, uh, first of all, you have the customer number, which is quite important, a rough idea of the shop name uh, and the area it's in. Then, for instance, here, uh, you've got the, the amount of cages that have been loaded, the amount you've delivered, should all correspond to the same. The pallet of freeze I've just done is it's just shared with the next drop as well, so it's half a pallet each. 
Milk creates a footfall. Um, people come in, they buy milk, they pick up a daily paper, a loaf of bread, and obviously as they walk around the shelves, they'll see other things that they need, and it creates sales for us. We do sell just over 1,500 bottles of milk a week, so it is rather important to us. Delivered, shelved, purchased. Milk is the single largest agricultural sector at 3.5 billion. And all this in just 48 hours.